Okay. So let's talk about Quick Sketch. And uh, what I'm going to do, let me see, let me save this project so I can come in and out of it. And I'm going to say uh, cert week 601. I'll bring this project back in, but let's go into Lightbox and start where you're probably going to start, which is the default sphere. And what we're going to want to do is come all the way up and select Quick Sketch. But before I do that, I want to just bring your attention to a couple of interface items. One, be mindful of the material. Be mindful of what's in the texture palette. Okay, those are the really the key kind of uh, the key areas to be mindful of what's going on there. Uh, the material is the most important because that's the one that messes everybody up. So I'm going to say select Quick Sketch, and you can see it's changed this. It's pre-selected a brush and it's changed the material. And notice that the material is flat color. Okay, that's really important to notice because now, for example. If we come in and select our poly mesh, our sphere, then it looks really weird. We can change the color, but we still have this really strange, you know, shape with no depth or anything like that. So the important thing to keep in mind is that uh, Quick Sketch uses a very specific setup with flat color because it is literally using geometry. Geometry that you can sculpt, that you can paint on, you can do a lot of things. It's kind of fascinating. But when you're ready to leave, you just got to come to material and switch back to either skin shade or matte cap gray or whatever you had selected before. So now if I zoom out, I'm back to my model and everything's okay. I can switch my color and there you go. So let me do this real quick. Click Quick Sketch again, and then click. Now, Quick Sketch, I'll mention, is really a macro. It's a script. And all that script does is go in and press a bunch of buttons. This projection master is a script as well. So in terms of Quick Sketch, what it does is it selects a polyplane. So it'll go in and it'll select this polyplane 3D. And then notice how these numbers pop up, 1, 1, 2, 2. So it selects this polyplane 3D, right, and then it'll either duplicate it or do something else. So let's say duplicate or clone, and then it'll convert, or I should actually do this so it's the actual language. Then it presses make poly mesh and then it divides the mesh a little bit so that you can draw on it because we're using poly paint then it selects a brush that's the um, sketch shadow or the pen shadow brush and then it selects a material this guy right here when it selects the brush the brush changes that material and that alpha. But this is the only thing Quick Sketch does. Nothing special, nothing fancy. It's really a script. If you're a Maya person then and you've used MelScript, it's all this is is a script that's just accessed via a button put in here. This can also be done via macros in here something that hopefully we're going to look at, not today, but uh, later on, give you a sense of how to expand those. So knowing that, you know, we can come in and look and see, all right, so I have five subdivision levels here, and I'm going to be using poly painting, which we haven't talked a lot about yet, but we will. And the, uh, the goal here is to just get in and start to draw. Now, this brush is kind of interesting, so if I move real fast, you'll kind of see it. Try to watch what this brush is doing. Look, as I draw, look right at the tip. 
and then see how that kind of changes as this brush moves down. If we come into brush, and I think it's in modifiers, yeah. You see down here at the bottom of this section, it's got this trails area. So right now, because I pressed the uh, control shift, it went into the select mode, so trails is different, but that's set to 19 with this pen shadow. So I'm going to show you how to duplicate this brush yourself, but uh, in fact, let's move this to open up the tray. So pen shadow, 19. I like this Pen A brush, and notice that Pen A does not have that texture on there. But let's see, what type of brush is the Pen brush? And I'll ask you, take a look at the interface, what type of brush is this Pen brush? Remember, every brush has an algorithm. So it's the standard brush. You see it says base type equals standard. That means that I could create my own. I just got to know, you know, what are the key features here? So trails, is it using lazy mouse? Is it using curve? Is it using roll? You know, it looks like it's just using trails. So let's see if we can duplicate this ourselves. I'm going to go into the standard brush. I'm going to see if I can select that material or that texture, which really looks like texture 3. All right, not so pretty. Increase my trails. Okay, starting to get something. But there's a difference, right? So something is different here. What's different? That's when we need to come in and start to compare. So let's take horizontal up and let's take vertical here. Still not working, right? So orientation, I'll check my settings in here. And then there's got to be something else. So let's check samples. Yeah, their sample radius is just way down. So he's not responding to anything. Curve. Curve looks the same, right? Is there something different in the stroke? Open these guys up standard, pen, and I just select them. Lazy mouse, we already checked. Curve functions, there's nothing in there. 